Hey guys, version 2.06 introduced a new feature to NGUI that allows you to pack a font into uh, R, G, B and A channels of a texture separately. What this essentially means is that uh, you can have the same amount of content in a texture that is only a quarter of the size. This is incredibly useful for Eastern language fonts, as they tend to be quite large. This tutorial will explain how you can take advantage of this feature. I'm gonna start by creating a new scene. And of course the process is the same. Delete the main camera for simplicity's sake, create a new UI. Next thing I need to do is actually create the font. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up BM font. I'm gonna choose the font that I'm gonna be using. and the font size. Size of 64 should be fairly large and uh, there's no way it can normally fit into a 256 by 256 texture. But with this feature it can. I'm gonna select which characters I'm gonna be exporting and I'm gonna go into export options. Here I'm gonna select 32 for bit depth and I'm gonna check this checkbox. Everything else I'm going to just leave at default values. Now all that's left is actually export the font. I'm just going to call it Remo64 and save it. Now if you tag back to Unity, the font is going to be here and it's going to look like this. Not very pretty, is it? but that's alright texture type, I'm going to select GUI and I'm going to get rid of compression. It is important that the texture that I'll be using for the font does not use compression. Using compression is going to create some very nasty artifacts that we would rather avoid. Well, let's proceed with the rest of the process. I need to rename the font file from .fnt to .txt so Unity actually recognizes it and I need to actually create the font. To do that, of course, drag and drop the texture and the font definition file. I'm gonna call it Remo64 and with the texture selected, I'm gonna click Create. So there's our font. The thing is, it's using the wrong shader right now. We need to change the shader from Unlit Transparent Colored to unlit transparent colored packed and that should be it let's create a new label as you can see the font is uh, working perfectly fine but there are some limitations that you should be aware of first of all the effect is not gonna work you need to leave this at none second while you can change the colors and it's gonna work fine, you cannot change the alpha. It's not gonna work either. This is because the alpha channel is actually used to pass some information to the shader that tells it which channel to use. And there's one more limitation that is probably the most important. You cannot put this uh, font into an atlas. This is because it requires a special shader. Fortunately, in most cases, you would not be using an atlas anyways, because in Eastern language fonts, the font itself is just too large to fit anything else in there. But on the bright side, if you are okay with these limitations, then you're gonna have a lot more space to work with in terms of texture memory. Well, thanks for watching.